Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I did a little hauling for the Sephora Rouge sale so I thought I would share my stuff and I'm running low on mascara so I decided to get this is the Dior Show Iconic Over Curl. Um, the packaging is really pretty. It's different from the last time. I haven't gotten a Dior mascara in a really long time. I'm almost out of my Chanel volume mascara so I thought I would give this a try so this looks promising I have really short sparse lashes so I will do a review on that I got the new Dior is this the face and body yeah the face and body powder I got it in one neutral I am wearing this today today's the first day that I um, wore it and so far I'm impressed usually I have to blot my forehead a bunch of times but today I didn't have to do that at all and it gives like a nice sheen I'll do a more detailed review on this after I use it for a while but and I really like the packaging the prints really nice I really like this and I got a backup of my Briogeo farewell frizz I did a recent video I think last week I posted it for the Rosé Curl Milk, so um, I'll put a link down below to that video if you haven't seen it yet. And this is good for refreshing or if you have naturally curly hair. And I've never tried this before. This is the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. I got a mini because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, so I just got this to try. For one of my samples, I got the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Balm. And I use a different brand balm, but I wanted to try this one because everyone goes mad over it. I got, I was kind of iffy on getting this. This is the KVD Dazzle Stick. These are new. And it had half good and half bad reviews on this, so I was kind of eh. So I just got one. This is in Electro Bolt. And I can do a quick swatch. Ooh. Ooh. That's like really fine glitter. I'll definitely do a video playing with that. I only bought one. It feels a little cooling on my hand too. But at least for this color, it's really fine and oh that doesn't even budge that does not budge at all so yeah i'm impressed with that so far <laughs> i the eyeshadow i'm wearing today is discontinued it's smashbox starlet eyeshadow i only have one eyeshadow left i bought a bunch of backups a couple years this was like a really long time ago that they discontinued it so I've been trying to find an eyeshadow to replace this but I haven't been able to so I picked up the makeup forever this is the artist color shadow it's in D562 I've never gotten their pans before but that's a freaking huge pan so let's see how this swatches I haven't swatched it yet mmm that's a little bit more goldy than I wanted but I still like the shadow if anybody knows where I can get a shade like I'm wearing right now it's kind of like a gray taupey color and I actually got this last week this is not part of the Sephora sale I got the Chantecaille elephant eyeshadow Um, those are actually pretty similar. Actually, no, the Makeup Forever one's more bronzy gold, but... Um, the Elephant is pretty, but it's nothing like this freaking eyeshadow, and I, I haven't been able to find a dupe for it, so... Yeah. <sighs> and the last thing that I picked up was the Tower 28. I've never tried this brand before. I got it Rush Hour, Beach Please, Rush Hour shade here's the shade let me swatch real quick and there's the shade right there I'm excited to play with that too and it blended out really nice excited to play with those I really don't mess with cream blushes that often 
But um, that's it for my haul. Please let me know if you got anything from the Sephora sale down below. Thanks, and we're subscribed. Bye.